Guys, believe it or not, this is in real time. What you're looking at right now is in real time in the Unreal Engine 5.6. This character was created using the new MetaHuman Creator plugin. With the, these are 8K textures right now. I am so excited to create short films using the Unreal Engine 5.6. And the facial animation is using the new MetaHuman video using a webcam. Like this is incredible because before we were using the iPhone for, with AR kit, but now this frees us up to be able to use any source or any like pre-recorded footage, a webcam, <laughs> you know, it could be any source of like any video source out there. But to be able to do this in the Unreal Engine in real time, that means that you're able to create multiple scenes with realistic characters. This is hyper realism to a T. Like it's, in, it's incredible. <laughs> Guys, if you're new to the Unreal Engine, I highly, highly recommend that you try it out because now, like, I'm just thinking about all the scripts that have been lying around with that. Because when you don't have actors, when you don't, you're doing a film by yourself, which is a common thing among us as indie filmmakers and storytellers, but with the Unreal Engine 5.6, with the new tools that they've added, it's going to be much easier for you to bring your story to life. Like, seriously. Like <laughs> now you're wondering why, how was I able to get like this type of quality this close? So I'll tell you this, this truth is that I am using an RTX 6000 ADA. Now, most of us, of course, can't afford that graphics card. And even I could not afford that graphics card. So it was blessed to me by the team from Puja Systems to do, to work on my short film, The Adventures of Nkosa and Nancha episodes and uh, sci-fi, you know, cinematics like that. So I have to give a shout out to them for this amazing uh, hardware that they provided. But you can see, if you are looking to level up, right? If you really are looking to create a short film with the realistic characters and to save yourself on render time, then I highly recommend guys that you invest in updating your graphics card because you can see what GPUs can do. Before we used to use CPU rendering and even if you, even when you use like GPU rendering, there was something that you would have to wait for the render to finish before you could, you know, edit. But right now, because of real time rendering, right? I'm able to look at what the scene is doing. If I something fails, I know I can go back and fix it real quick and then come back in real time without having to go to like the movie render queue and then wait for the scene to be you know rendered fully. This is amazing and it changes everything. Yes, AI is around and people are using it to create amazing, you know, short clips, maybe like at most, maybe eight seconds, 20 seconds. But when you have access to the Unreal Engine, which is free, by the way, it's free. You're able to do this like to infinity. It's unlimited. You're able to iterate. You're able to do the like, concept ideas with this without having to worry about time limits. And so I am excited, guys, when, when, I, when, the, when I powered this on and I tested this up close, I was like, is this going to hold up? And there's a new film that I'm working on. And like this film has taken me almost 12 years to complete. But because of the metahumans, because of the Unreal Engine 5.6 and versions that are coming out later, like in 5.7 and 5.8, I'm excited to be able to actually finally, finally be able to create this short film and bring it to life this way. <laughs> <laughs> look at that like one of those things that bothers me especially like i don't know if you've watched some movies where there's an uncanny valley that you look at a cg character and the eyes look dead right but this one even as i look like this right there's like that the character looks alive <laughs> so i think what's left is to get like really good performance set up your shot and having a good script because the story is going to be king no matter what the story is going to be king so anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Solomon Jagwe. I am just sharing this quick test of this MetaHuman realistic, hyper-realistic MetaHuman created in the Unreal Engine 5.6 using the new MetaHuman Creator plugin using 8K textures and edited inside of same pack. It used to be online, but now it's native inside of the Unreal Engine and taking advantage of this amazing graphics card that has 48 gigabytes of RAM to be able to capture this in real time in the Unreal Engine with an epic 
it's really, I think the settings is set to epic over here. Okay, so now let me show you what the scene looks like. Right? This is in real time inside of the Android engine. And just, a, just so you're aware, let me click on the character. Yeah, this is real time. <laughs> what a time to be alive, guys, right? Uh, press G to get out of that. Yeah, so press F11 to get full screen. And there we are. So thank you so much for joining me today, guys. If you're new to my channel, I kindly spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And I can't wait to take you on this journey to show you the behind the scenes of how I'm making my short film, the adventure. It's not the adventures of course. It's my the short film itself is called Galiwango of Lamu So it's like the life of a mountain gorilla. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this time to for this moment to come so I can bring these characters to life. Like I have several soldiers. Uh, that I'm going to be able to convert into metahumans and be able to do this in real time. <laughs> ah. right, please stay safe. As always, guys, dare to dream big. Let's take advantage of these technologies to tell our stories and bring them to life. Please be safe. Ah. Anyway, bye for now. If you, uh, if, I'm sorry. Thank you to all my patrons, guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you for helping me get to this uh, level. And for every person that has subscribed to my channel, I thank you. Thank you so much. Bye for now. Stay, stay blessed. <laughs> you can tell that I'm super excited about this test. But I hope you get to test it as well and see on, and so that you can bring your stories to life on your end. Stay safe. Much love. See you in the next video. Bye for now.